Hello, this is Eddie Boulay and welcome back to Black American Lineage. Thank you for your support. Thank you for subscribing, for your thumbs up, for your comments, and for sharing the videos. Thank you for supporting this channel. Well, everybody, these two young ladies deserve applause because they have solved a 2,000 year old math problem. Black high school students solved math problem thought to be impossible for over 2,000 years. Two New Orleans high school students recently attended a conference where they proved an impossible math problem by using trigonometry. So we know right away that we're talking about very smart students. For more than 2,000 years, mathematicians worldwide have thought solving Pythagoras theorem was an unattainable feat until now. Kalisha Johnson and Akaya Jackson, who are enrolled at St. Mary's Academy, a private Catholic all-girls school in New Orleans, are making headlines after attending the American Mathematical Society's Southeastern Sections semi-annual meeting in Atlanta earlier this month. It was at this conference where the two students presented their findings and titled them An Impossible Proof of Pythagoras. Johnson and Jackson were the only high schoolers present among the pupils from campuses such as the Universities of Alabama, Georgia, Louisiana State, Ohio State, Oklahoma, and Texas Tech, the Guardian said on Friday. So these are high school students competing with college students, and they solved this impossible math problem. Wow. <laughs> Black Millionaires tweeted, Two black female high school students in New Orleans solved the Pythagorean theory, a math problem that genius mathematicians have failed to solve for over 2,000 years. Each student can win up to a million dollars for their discovery. <laughs> now this is going to be mathematician language, so bear with me because I am not a mathematician. The Pythagorean theorem states that the area of the square whose right side is the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the areas of the squares on the other two sides. Jackson credited the math instructors at St. Mary's for helping them achieve the victory. We have really great teachers. She told local New Orleans news station WWL-TV Johnson added, it's really an unparalleled feeling, honestly, because there's nothing like being able to do something that people don't think young people can do. No, people don't think young black people can do. A lot of times you see this stuff, you don't see kids like us doing it. Absolutely. And that's why it's so wonderful. Members of our community can examine their results to determine whether their proof is a correct contribution to the mathematics literature, Catherine Roberts, Executive Director for the American Mathematical Society, suggested of the two New Orleans residents. Roberts hopes that the pair will proceed with studying math in order to have a promising career in the field. We encourage them to continue their studies in mathematics, she said. Okay, so that is what we're trying to do. That is what I know Black America in academia is trying to do to encourage Black students, including Black girls, in the STEM programs, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. These are the careers of the future, and we need to be 
in the thick of it just like we've always been. It is so wonderful to see these two young people being serious about their studies, talking about how great their teachers are, and how much they want to make the contribution to their chosen field of mathematics. Now here you have two serious-minded young teenage girls, most likely came from homes where they are encouraged to be the best that they can be, where their parents are supportive and put in the time and the resources it takes to make exceptionally solid students. Now, when you look on social media, what do you see that's trending? Black people talking about the beef between Kendrick Lamar and Drake, two rappers who really need to get somewhere and sit down because this rap game, I think, is just about up. We need serious-minded students and we need parents and communities encouraging our students. This is so wonderful. Now, I saw this breezing through my internet news the other day. Well, these are the sort of things that you're not going to hear even on our YouTube channels because we have black people telling black people not to vote or talking about Oprah and, and what's that woman's name? Uh, Monique. This kind of old folks. I mean, Oprah about 70 years old. I don't know how old Monique is, but they're, you know, she's too old to try to keep this sort of animosity going. I mean, if you find out somebody is not honest and you can't work with the person, let it go. Trying to build a comedy routine around somebody that you know is not honest or you believe that's not honest. But for you to continue talking about them and keeping it going, it seems like you might be a part of the problem too. But that's just my opinion. But anyway, y'all, this is another example of black genius in the black community. These young women are mathematicians in the making. And remember, the woman who, who invented the GPS system was a mathematician. The woman that got the first astronaut in space or outer space, however you say it, was a mathematician. The woman who invented the touch tone, call waiting, and caller ID is a black woman mathematician. They all, they all are black women mathematicians, geniuses who invented and discovered things through mathematics. But they are following in the footsteps of outstanding African American women and we can all collectively wish them well. Congratulations to Kalisha Johnson and Nakia Jackson.